that is this fellow. He thinks he's rational. He keeps looking for perspectives and searching for answers, having a critical mind on anything, and trying to understand the motivation for people holding different views. In his quest, he has realized that his best explanation for now is that reality exists, yet no deity is necessary to explain stuff, that the monotheistic God does not exist near hell or afterlife, that horoscopes and new age rules don't make sense, that near communism nor libertarianism have the answer. Selfness is a hard question and that most people is sincere in holding a belief set. He's hoping to be challenged. There is this other fellow. He's afraid of himself due to a bizarre psychosis, with some depressive elements and probably a silent schizophrenia. He's afraid of the ghost of the world. He refuses to read horoscopes, even for fun, just for not having another hunting thought. He's afraid of blasphemy, and he's hunted by images of eternal damnation. He needs affection, but is afraid of human contact outside an intellectual context. He entertains himself in academic discussions about religion, of philosophy and politics as a way to seek approval, and he feels that the only thing that he can offer is his rationality. These two fellows are the contradictions in myself, and both the guy who is not afraid to be challenged and the guy who is afraid to be wrong.